1935, this is going to be a short one. In 1935, Johnny Roselli, uh, he was a hood, and he made his way out to, to uh, the West Coast, and he would eventually become Chicago's point man out there in Los Angeles and Las Vegas later on. So he was working, remarkably, uh, as an investigator for the Hayes office. The Hayes office, among many other things, was, it was basically the censors for films. So he was handed a job off the books uh, into a case that, for MGM Studios. One of their rising stars was a woman named Joan Crawford, and she had appeared uh, in several porn flicks in the 1920s when she was a starving actress, when she was 19 years old. Since I wrote this, I've read several places. Actually, she was pushed into prostitution much younger by her insane mother. Isn't that sad? Anyway, some freelancers were extortionists. They had contacted the studios and they said, look, we got a, a film of her and a porn thing. We want $100,000 and we'll give you the negative. So the bosses at MGM, they thought it all over and they thought, well, we got a lot of money in Crawford and she does bring in money at the box offices and we're going to pay, but we're not going to pay $100,000. So they told Roselli to get in touch with these extortionists and tell them we'll give them $25,000 cash and then they back off. And the studio figured they would write the money off of their taxes in some way as a business expense. Roselli, using the information the studios had, he got in touch with the Hoods. There's a group of teeny small timers, and he explained he represented MGM Studios. Now, this is according to Roselli. He represented MGM Studios, but he also represented a mafia. So he told them if, he ever, if they ever contact the studios again, he'd kill them. I, my guess is he probably killed him anyway once he got the uh, once he got the negative because of what he did. He brought the negatives back to the studio and he pocketed the twenty five thousand dollars. Twenty five thousand dollars in nineteen thirty five was serious cash, and I don't think Roselli wanted those guys coming back around and say, "Hey, you know, we paid this guy and he pocketed the cash. It was supposed to be for us." Blah blah blah. 